The fans have made no secret of their anger or the colour-coded rebellion against their American owners. But has this public protest sparked a takeover bid? Sky News broke the story last night that leading city financiers have held secret talks. But the fact that there are such heavyweight uh, figures from the City of London involved in this campaign now at least means that there is a serious chance of them galvanising support from elsewhere across the, cl the club's supporter base. A source close to the club said it's acting out of love for the club. Among them Jim O'Neill, the chief economist at Goldman Sachs and friend of Sir Alex Ferguson, stockbroker and lifelong United fan Keith Harris and hedge fund partner Paul Marshall. I think this is a very critical point in Manchester United's future and I think that these uh, investors are not like any kind of investors that we've seen in recent times that the Glazers have had to deal with. If they want to bring about change they need to get the supporters on side and this is a good time to do it strategically but really is it in the best interest of the club and the fans? Probably not at the moment. Manchester United was taken over by the American Glazer family in 2005. They've told Sky News the club is not for sale. It's estimated to be worth at least a billion pounds and makes over 270 million a year in revenue, but its debt is more than 700 million. The 80 million pound sale of Cristiano Ronaldo to Real Madrid last summer left some asking if that was to get the Reds out of the red. Despite the controversy off the pitch, United are scoring goals. If that changes, the campaign to win back control of United may pick up even more pace. Amy Lewis, Sky News.